Mastering preferences with would. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson where we will explore the world of modal verbs. Today's topic is very important. We are going to discuss how to use the modal verb would for expressing preferences. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Before we get into how to use would for preferences, let's quickly review what would is. Would is a modal verb, and just like other modal verbs, it is used to express different situations such as advice, possibility, prediction, etc. However, today we're specifically focusing on would in the context of expressing preferences. So, what does it mean to express a preference? It simply means stating what we like or don't like, what we prefer. Now, how do we use would? Would helps us to talk about hypothetical or unreal situations. When we use would to express a preference, it often implies that the preference is not our current reality. For example, consider this sentence. I would prefer coffee to tea. This sentence tells us that in a hypothetical situation where you have to choose, you like coffee more than tea. Now let's learn how to form sentences using would for preferences. The structure is simple. We use the subject, then, would, then, prefer, and finally, we state our preference. The structure looks like this. Subject plus would plus prefer plus preference. And here's an example. I would prefer reading a book to watching TV. But what if we want to express a negative preference? That's easy. All we have to do is add not after would. The sentence structure becomes subject plus would plus not plus prefer plus preference. Here's an example. I would not prefer going out in the rain. Lastly, let's see how we can ask someone about their preference using would. The structure is would plus subject plus prefer plus preference. Here's an example. Would you prefer ice cream or cake? And that wraps up our lesson on using would for preferences. It's a simple and effective way to express what you like or don't like in hypothetical situations. Practice making sentences using this structure, and you'll master it in no time. Remember, practice is key in language learning. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Happy learning, and see you in our next lesson.